What's up guys, Prince Sports here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. All right, I took a little day off. I only dropped one video. I wasn't that active, but I'm back. Um, I had to re relax for a little bit. But I want to talk to you guys about today's big game. We're going to go live for the Nets versus the Lakers, okay? Um, this is it. This is it for LeBron James. This is the run that's going to prove that he could be the MVP. Now, I never said LeBron James was MVP, okay? So I want to get that across because some people sitting there thinking that, oh, you said LeBron was going to be the MVP. I didn't say that. I said without Anthony Davis, if he could go on a winning streak, he would be the undeniable MVP for a lot of people. The media would give him the votes. Everybody would give him the votes, okay? But there's a lot of other guys in the league that is above LeBron James when it comes to MVP. Damian Leonard may be the most clutchest player in today's game right now. And he's carrying the Portland Trail Blazers on the back, on, on his back, you know, with CJ being down every now and then, um, you know, no Nikola, uh, Nurkic, I hope I said his name right. <laughs> you know, these, some of these European players, man, but <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, man, there's a lot of other MVP candidates, you know? So, but for LeBron to solidify that MVP, He's going to have to win against good teams. And if he could do it without Anthony Davis, that's pretty much the nail in the coffin for me. You know, um, the Lakers... Meaning the second that that happened, the floodgates just opened. They're one game over in terms of losing against good teams. Okay, so they don't, they don't have um, a dominating record against winning teams. And they don't finish the bad teams off. They had a pretty much easy schedule from the beginning, from the jump. And they're going into double overtime. They're going into overtime against bad teams, okay? They, teams that they should have been beaten like that, you know? You shouldn't have been struggling against uh, bad teams, period, you know? Especially when AD was playing for some of those games. There was no reason for you to be struggling against the team. So that's a knock, you know? But he has the chance now to prove to people that, hey, I'm the MVP. And it starts tonight because this road schedule without Anthony Davis is going to be pretty tough. And they beat one scrub team, but now you're going to have to go up against the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn Nets should be a formidable opponent. I don't give a rat's ass if AD, I mean, KD is not playing. You still got James Harden and you still got Kyrie Irving, right? You still got, you know, the ESPN called Kyrie Irving the best show. I just heard them say Kyrie Irving's the best show in the NBA. So if Kyrie Irving's the best show in the NBA, he should come out and show out against LeBron James, right? And vice versa. So this will be the start to LeBron's MVP run. But let's not go like the media and jump on, you know, the LeBron James train and completely disrespect every other player that's playing good. See, this is the thing about LeBron, even when he's on top. But he's considered to be the best player in the league. There's always other players that you go forgetting about that doing stuff more impressive and looking better at some point. OK, that's the difference between LeBron and several other players that was in their prime. You know, when Kobe was in his prime from 2002, I give it 2002. He shared a spotlight with Shaq, but he was like one A, one B with those guys. Right. With Shaq. And they was two of the best players in the league. OK. Um, so let's go from 2002 to 2010. You, you could make a case Kobe was the best player in the league, okay? Um, or let's round it off to nine. 2009 and um, 2002. So those years, during that time span, you know, 02 to 09. Kobe was the best player in the game, right? LeBron James era didn't begin until 2010, really, okay? He was in his prime, at 2008 he hit his prime 2008 but he was not really better was he really better than kobe around 2008 2009 and kobe was still in his peak i don't think so you know i think lebron james hit his peak and became the best player in the world from 2010 all the way to um basically you could sit there and say now right but within that time frame was he really the best player in the game, convincingly? Um, I would say probably to 2008, convincingly, right? 
But outside of that, maybe no. You know, and there were some seasons that you thought other guys was better than LeBron James, right? So if you really look at it, LeBron's prime, his prime years really was from 2010. And, you know, it's, it lasts in a decade, a little over a decade. But that goes to any generational talent if they don't retire. If Jordan didn't retire, he had been the best player in basketball from 1988 to 1999. Let's put it that way, okay? Maybe somewhere around because Shaq was going to come sooner or later. So 2000, I would probably give, gave it to Shaq. But from 1988 to 1999, Jordan would have been the best player in basketball. Okay, that's over a 13-year span, 12, 13-year span, assuming that he didn't retire. Jordan was the best player for a decade because he retired. But he would have been had more individual accolades, more scoring titles, more MVPs, more championships if he had not retired. Okay, I honestly believe that. But we don't have the proof of that because guess what? He retired. But anyway, tonight is the true test of LeBron James being the MVP. If he could knock these teams off, Brooklyn, that's a big challenge, okay? I don't care what nobody say. Those three stooges, somebody got to knock them off. And if you could beat them in the finals, you're going to get full credit for it, okay? I know this is the regular season, but LeBron James is playing hard every single game. He's going for that MVP. So you're going for that MVP, you got to knock these dudes off that's standing in your way. 2011, you didn't win MVP because... You kept losing to the Chicago Bulls in the regular season when you was on the Miami Heat, right? Derrick Rose was still continuing to shine. So you got to turn those L's into W's, okay? When it comes to good teams, you got to turn those L's into W's. That's what LeBron has to do, okay? Point blank, get the job done, period. All right? Prince Sports out. Peace. The hell are you supposed to be? I'm vengeance.